And finally, to end this piece of the tutorial, I'd like to encourage you to use your imagination. Think of lighting that's not necessarily in the textbooks. Look at this, for example. It's a device that you'll be seeing a great deal of in our virtual tool of lighting, which you'll get to later. I did not place it on the light box. I used the light box as a light source as you see in this image. It, because of its transparency, and it's actually quite beautiful, just as something itself, I put it on my flatbed scanner. But this is not a scanned image. I'm actually using the light from the flatbed scanner, as you can see in this image. Sometimes it could work when you get light from the side, as it is in this case. And another idea that perhaps you haven't thought about is to use a small LED flashlight if you want to image a very small area of your device. Here we're just photographing the spiral, which measures about two and a half centimeters across. All I did was shine an LED flashlight onto that area. Around the area, it, we get lighting fall off. So we decided only to image this particular piece in the device. This is an image I started making of material called ferrofluid, and what you're seeing actually is a close shot of this material. It is oil that has suspended it in iron filings. I put it on a glass slide. Under the glass slide is a yellow post-it, and under the yellow post-it are seven circular magnets. And you're seeing the small iron particles respond to the magnets. It's basically too tight a shot to see anything of value. In this image, I pulled away a bit, and I see a little more of what's going on. But basically, the window panes become maybe too much of a distraction, and it's not quite right. And so I decided, seeing how reflective the whole image could be, to put a green card above it. So now we're seeing a little bit of green reflecting off of the material. This is just purely an aesthetic decision. It's not clarifying anything. But I'm starting to think that I might have an interesting image here. And eventually, I did wind up with this final image with the window pane, with the green card reflecting. And if you really look carefully, you see the mistake of a bad photographer, because you see me. Although it's fun to play around with the children and asking them to find Felice. But this is an image that got a lot of notice when I made it a while ago. And I was using my imagination in terms of trying to find a, a way of using light in perhaps a different way.